Hello from one job to five video number 15. Okay, the last video for lesson, but not the last video for the whole chapter. Okay, one title. The law of conservation of mass state debts. Or in Chinese, I don't know what to call it. In Chinese, I don't know what to call it. In Chinese, I don't know what to call it. Okay, so the law of conservation of mass state debts. Okay, so the law of conservation of mass state debts. It talks about three sentences. Okay, matter cannot be created nor destroyed. 物质不能被创造。Or you cannot destroy it. You cannot destroy it. So for all the things that you call matter, you cannot create it. Or you cannot destroy it because you are not a god. 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 From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, it can change from one form to another. From one form to another, So when you heat the ice, the ice melt and become water. But now can you see the mass still the same? You may have found out how the mass has changed. Just now it's two atoms of particles. Now when it melts and becomes water, it melts and becomes water. It's still two particles, but it's still two atoms of particles. The mass has changed. Or when you heat the water, water becomes vapor, becomes steam, becomes water. It's still the same. The mass has changed. So the law of conservation of mass, 质量的保存原理，它就是讲了这句话：物质不能被毁灭，它不能被创造，它永远保持一样的质量。Okay? It just can change from ice to become water, for water to become steam. But the mass, 它的质量，你看它的质量、质量的数量 ，same 保持不变，对不对？所以这种就叫 the law of conservation of mass， 物质的保存原理。Okay, or any example. I show you the example again. I'll just give you an example. Okay, you can. So every day, plant having the process called photosynthesis and plant taking the carbon dioxide, it is using two different energy sources. At the same time, it absorbs water. 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 二氧化碳的碳，它的氧呢少去了，水呢也不见去了 ，become less， 对不对 ？But you didn't know. Nobody can create the new matter. Nobody can destroy the matter. 物质不能被创造，不能被毁灭，它只能被转化。Okay. So now carbon dioxide and water entering the plants. So plant give back the oxygen. 它放出氧气，氧气又回来了。Okay. And now when animal eating the plant, 当动物呢吃到植物的时候 ，we eat the carbohydrate. 碳跟水结合变成碳水化合物，对不对 ？So carbohydrate eat by the animal. 动物呢就吃掉它的碳跟水，也叫碳水化合物了。So we breathe in the oxygen. 我们吸进的氧气 ，and we having the respiration. 我们燃烧食物 ，and produce carbon dioxide and water. 我们放出二氧化碳加水。So at the end， 在整个过程过后，碳有增加吗？氧有增加吗？没有。Water, 水有变不见去吗？没有，对不对 ？So this is the reason why. So 地球上的东西永远不会不见。They just can be transformed. 它们只能被转换罢了。So 地球上的每一个 particle, particle, 几粒几粒都不会不见，也不会被创造更多出来。Okay. So they just always transform. 明白吗？它永远都都在转换罢了。你吸我进来，你一定要把我放出来了。OK， 你没有把它放出来，别人把我吃掉，然后过后我还是会回去大自然的。So they always recycle， 他们一直在循环，循环罢了，明白吗 ？So this is the law or the law of conservation of mass， 物质的保存原理了。OK， 他们不会不见，他们一直在走着走着转换罢了。OK，So、okay? 来 continue，copy another sentence， 不要重复太多次。So when the matter undergo a physical change, 当某某物质进行的 physical change, physical change 就是没有化学的改变了 The mass is conserved. 如果没有化学反应发生 ，it's just simple melting 啦 ，freezing 啦 ，boiling 啦。没有化学反应发生，没有加到其他新东西的话，它只是融啦、滚啦
凝固啊。OK， the mass will be conserved. So, 冰块变成水，水变成水蒸气。你看它的质量一点改变都没有。OK， so this is a law of conservation of the mass. OK， set the list 来的三句话，明白就好了。OK， so now copy under your note， 在你的 note 的下面抄 a question eight to twelve， 八到十。第八题到第十二题。Okay, so we're going to finish this two, this four question, 八九十十一十二 this five question, and finish the chapter five, then go to chapter six. Okay, bye bye.